All right. Yes. Fuck. It's time for another ice bath. Let's do this. That is way fucking colder than a cold shower. The cold showers in the morning are just kind of, I mean, they wake you up, but it's water from the, you know, it's like the temperature outside, which is pretty warm. It was definitely much colder in the winter. That's the shower water. This water today, I put in a whole bag, then filled it with water, then I put another bag on top. So I've got 40 pounds of ice and it is definitely colder than last week. It's a beautiful day. I'll show you some pictures of the beautiful sky. It's, I don't know what time it is. I think it's 9.30, Thursday morning. So, I'm on a weight loss um, program. I did the uh, Prolon diet about three weeks ago. That got me from 217 to like 209. Then uh, that took a week. Then I did a sardine and egg three day thing. All you eat are sardines and hard boiled eggs. So a typical day would be three sardines, which tastes great with salt, pepper and balsamic vinegar on top of it and uh, hard-boiled eggs, usually two eggs. And you do that for three days. And that I've done that twice now and I'm at 206. So I went from 217 to 206. So that's what, 11 pounds. So my goal is 195. So that's another 11 pounds. So uh, today, to, the next four days I'm gonna do meat and salad, which I love and I, I allow myself two little pieces of dark chocolate. And that'll keep me in ketosis. And then I'm doing the sardines and uh, eggs again next week. So it's just gonna be a slow kind of grind, but uh, I'm committed to it. I just feel so much better without the extra weight. Yes, I do. Just settling in here, finding my zen. It is a beautiful day. So since I've had sardines and eggs for the last three days, I'm gonna have a ribeye steak for lunch with salad today. So that combined with the dopamine flush I'm gonna feel in about an hour, puts me in pretty good shape. see what the temperature is oh yeah we're back down to 50 so that's good we had a few at 55 and that definitely was like being in the Andaman Sea <laughs> in Thailand pleasant this is definitely puts me on my edge uh, 50 degrees found a great uh, thing to watch on TV called Hijack. It's on Apple TV. Hijack. They've shown six episodes so far. Or maybe it's five. They've shown five so far. It's with Idris Elba. And it takes mostly, mostly takes place on an airplane, although there's also some stuff from England. So being that I lived in England for a year, that interests me too. So very suspenseful. Good. Jay gives it two thumbs up. Hijack on Apple TV. 
I saw Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1, in the theater with a bunch of people. Excellent movie. Also give that two thumbs up. Very, uh, a lot of good action. A lot of funny bits about it, too. And uh, there's a woman in there named Haley Atwell, who's a new character named Maria, who is beautiful. Just a beautiful a woman. And uh, anyway, so she adds something to it and a regular cast of characters. It was good. This weekend, I'm gonna go see Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. So you can buy tickets on Fandango, which is what I've been doing. And uh, you know, I know I know the row that I like, and I know the theater I like, and I know I want to be towards the middle, so I can order ahead of time and not worry about finding a seat. And at this theater, they have these reclining chairs that are so comfortable. And uh, you know, you can get food and stuff too, but it's uh, just plush, real real comfortable, big screen, big loud, you know. Really looking forward to Sunday, seeing Oppenheimer in the afternoon. Last week, the um, the video, of the my phone for some reason stopped at about six or seven minutes. I don't remember exactly. So I missed the whole dedication part, uh, which is too bad because I was kind of on a roll. But I'm going to do it again. So this fucking ice bath is dedicated to Mary Kay C. Redux version 2. So Mary Kay C is my mom. She is the reason I am living here at uh, the house that she and my dad bought back in 1998. Beautiful house, beautiful neighborhood, gated community, nice beautiful yard which you've seen. Or you will see and uh, let's see so my dad passed away in 2018 July and then uh, my mom uh, you just tell she wasn't quite remembering stuff and uh, the last thing one of the last things not the last thing but when my dad was in the hospital and he decided that he wasn't gonna go for all the you know, medical intervention to live longer. He just was gonna come home and do hospice and pass away the way he wanted to do it. He, he, he pulled us to get close together and he goes, take care of your mom. She's gonna have a hard time with this. That's exactly what he said. And uh, so since my other two brothers are married and I, I, I have not been for a while, um, I volunteered to move in and help my mom out and at first it was great, you know, just great. But as this Alzheimer's disease has, uh, she got diagnosed about four years ago and she lost her license. So we had to sell her car and slowly, you know, over time, she just is whittling away. She still remembers, you know, ma the main people in her life. She doesn't remember neighbors anymore. She doesn't remember anything that's happened, you know, recently in the last couple of years. Um, but she can still get up. She makes her bed. She's got the dog Taffy. She likes cocoa and toast. She likes soup. She likes when I go to get her soup with a chocolate chip cookie from the deli. She likes, uh, she used to like hamburgers with milkshakes, but lately she hasn't wanted that. She prefers soup. I just think it's easier for her to eat it. Um, but that's where my mom is now. So what I wanted to do was just point out that she was a really great mom. And the thing that she uh, did, which I learned to do with my children, is to let them know that they are loved. And I never had a doubt as a child that I was loved, that I was special in someone's eyes. And I think that's the greatest thing you can give to a child, just that they know that, you know, that no matter what, they're loved. Um, and my mom definitely gave me that. She tried to instill in me, you know, her Catholicism and uh, insisted that I went to a Catholic school for eight years. And that didn't hold for me. Uh, I stopped going in my 30s and 
I don't know, shortly thereafter, I just became an atheist because none of it made any sense to me. I'm just not going to believe something that I don't know to be true. And it uh, doesn't change my wonderful experience of living in the least. In fact, it enhances it for me because with the Catholicism came a lot of guilt, especially a lot of guilt around sex. And it's taken me quite a while to shake that, you know, that stuff you get learned, you get taught at a really early age. So, uh, so I knew I was loved. And um, that was the greatest gift I got from my mom. She also, um, I was thinking about it, um, I think because, I think I'm creative partially because of my mom. Um, there really aren't too many people in my family that are creative. You know, like I write and I make these videos and, uh, you know, I used to design ads that I would sell and, uh, you know, I started a few businesses and, you know, I've got that. And, and I just remember my mom, she was always like, you know, painting and her house was always the coolest house because she had designed it nice and there were a lot of cool things and you know there's a picture in the bathroom that my mom painted which is really beautiful so I think being around that you know and just seeing how she always kind of wanted to express herself that way rubbed off on me a little bit I'm very grateful for that too um, my brother's not so much well my my brother Dave he was he was taking pictures he was really into photography for a while so he might have got that from mom too don't know so I love you mom you'll never see this but and if you do see it you'll forget it um, but uh, thanks for being my mom I appreciate it I love you this experience I'm going through is dedicated to you Who will it be next week, huh? Who will it be? Well, I gotta say, right now this just feels like a bathtub. I've gotten to the point where it's just not um, unpleasant right now. My little friend has arrived. It's 50 degrees and Uh, it's almost like I have to be into the 45 range to shiver and, and that's a good thing that means my body has learned to adjust you know but it's gonna take a little bit more to push it uh, to the you know the point of shivering I'll still be cold when I get out you know I'll still experience the drop but uh, in here right now I'm I'm very comfortable it's actually very beautiful all the stress and, and worry about getting into this thing is gone. I made it, I did it. The sun's shining on my face. I'm gonna eat a lunch, nice lunch, relax the rest of the day. Got a beautiful weekend of driving ahead of me. Everything's good. Oh, what I did wanna say in my last minute, is I'm discovering, I'm realizing <laughs> at this late stage of my life that the 20 minutes I spend meditating every day it's the most important part of my day that even just 20 minutes of being aware of the nature of consciousness which I experience when I meditate is so important and it has so chilled me out and it's allowed me to not react especially in my day trading now I'm just like this calm Zen guy and it's really making a difference I'm really seeing really positive results and I attribute that to my meditating specifically my Sam Harris meditation app which I have set for 20 minutes each day and each day it's a little different um, but I sit in the sauna sweating profusely legs crossed a half lotus position palms on my legs still as can be sweat rolling down my face and I'm listening to Sam Harris what a fucking trip and that's my Monday through Friday mornings I love it I just love it 
Well, this time went fast. Thanks for watching. Just a guy doing an ice bath every week. I believe this is number 18. Ah! <sighs>